Oh, man, they don't normally let me in this kind of hotel. I tell you, hiya, folks. Uh, good morning and welcome to Jumpstart Monday. Monday, no more time. Yes, that's his head, and here comes the rest of his body. A little bit disappointing, I know, but I do get there eventually. Also, for the first time this year, it's the Leather Pants Show. It's Maynard's Leather Pants Show. Could we have no close-ups, please? Cameraman Horny Bruce can't uh, keep his lens off me. On today's show, we are going to be chatting to John Disco, Mandarin, and, of course, my favourite sci-fi, Stephen, the three members of Biz sold 200,000 records across the world and of course 100,000 of those have been sold in Japan. So we're going to find out where they're popular, why they're popular, what they do, where they do it and why they are the pop sensation with a capital P that we know them as today. Man, Euro Disco, what a great song that was. They've had two albums. There's a New Transistor Heroes and Social Dancing which we're going to investigate a bit later. Also on the show we've got some Dead Star coming our way, The Cars, Powderfinger and we've got the entire kitchen staff just looking at me there. G'day, how are you? How are you? Look at that, there we go. They, they were just all staring, but now they're pretending that they're not. Also, we'll be talking to a couple of our friends from Channel V of Thailand, or the here to interview Biz as well, and we're going to muck around, but let's get started with some hanging out on jumps from Channel V, because we've got one of my favourite bands here. Of course, you may know them from the front cover of the new Transistor Heroes, most excellent album, but even better, and more improvingly, further along the line, we've got social dancing, and these three people are incredibly social. Right. Welcome, Amanda, John, Stephen. Hi, Biz, how are you? All right, not bad, thanks, yes. I won't ask you how Australia is, because you've only been here 30 seconds, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> yep, there it goes, 30. Oh, yeah. well, well, how's Glasgow these days? When was the last time you were back there? Well, not long ago, actually. <laughs> we've just been in Japan uh, for a week, so we, I mean, we were in Glasgow like two weeks ago, but we feel like we've been away for a year already. Mm -hmm. It's been a pretty he hectic schedule, and, uh, you know... We're just, yeah, but as soon as we, got, soon we got into Australia, it rained and we felt yeah. right back well at home, home so that's cool. <laughs> and we missed the storm, the hailstones. But so you're travelling around, obviously you've got to be lots of places on time and that and all that sort of thing. Did the three of you ever get on each other's nerves? A three-piece band, like there's not many people to talk to, it's just the three of you stuck together in the one taxi all the time. Is that going to be difficult sometimes? Oh yeah. <laughs> we have to rely on ourselves to, you know, get on each other's nerves. It's mm. part of the whole process. And you've got any relaxation techniques? You've got the biz yoga technique going on yet? Any chanting going yoga on? Flying. Your own. That's the best thing. I bought this uh, in the Tokyo airport. I bought like a little ma a massager, but it's like a little pen. And oh, right. and you sort of just go. Uh, but nipple rubber. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know why I went for that particular area, but yes. <laughs> that is, in fact, a nipple rubber. <laughs> oh, yeah, you've had a few gigs in Australia. I've got to ask the classic Australian journalist question. Mm -hmm. how, do how do Australian audiences compare to those overseas? Uh. Yes, they, go they do. <laughs> they do oh. compare. Yeah, good, good, okay. They nod their heads more mm -hmm. and uh, generally are quite reserved, but they're into it, you know? Yeah, so, so they're, they're kind of checking you out a bit, are oh, they? Oh, I think they are, and I, I think we don't really mind that, you know? It's Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, at least they are checking us out and not just They dancing. go mad after the show when they realise it was good. Now, are you, are you getting lot, bought lots of drinks after the show? That's always a I good measure. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll if we can remember if they were free, then it's not worth it. Now, I just want to uh, come this. The, the new Transistor Hero is going to play Sweet Shop Avengers from this. Now, was this uh, inspired by any shoplifting you did at an early age or anything like that? <laughs> I, was quite, I was quite the shoplifter, yeah. yeah? I, I, what, that, small uh, stuff or like tellies? No, no, just small stuff. Just generally, there's a few techniques which, obviously, if I divulge them here, sure. I could get in trouble. You, you could get, you get sweets, supported. Sweets are easy. <laughs> and so, well, I have, like, obviously, with the Avenger title there, um, you obviously like wearing capes. I like, like, putting yeah. the towel around the neck and running around the bedroom. Yeah. And, like, you're that kind of people, too. Um, yeah. Amanda, perhaps, who's a superhero in your spare time. Nothing is on stage yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> giving away the stage. Oh, yeah. like the cape. That's pretty special. Now, is, is this song just about a little, little fantasy, or is it about an actual event? Uh, no, <laughs> I can't remember, it's so old now, but... Uh, like, I know, I, I no, thought no, I had to, because we no, haven't no. seen you, like, you, you came yeah. out for a promo tour, and yeah. you can see John signed the front of this, the other two members of the band completely snubbed me, oh, I, think, yeah. I, I, I think I was wearing my Hawaiian shirt that night or something, oh, and can, oh, can you blame them? I remember no, that, no. <laughs> yeah, well, I've got me leather pants here, because I thought, you know, well, they're from George Michael, I thought, I'll wear the pants, I'll think oh, I'm George oh, Michael, oh. and... I'll... I know, that's just what we thought when you walked into the room. See? I thought that. Well, look, well, why don't you guys introduce Switch Up Avengers for us, as old as it is, just okay. try and really sell it, guys. Right there. Uh, this is yes. our dead good old song. It's called Sweet Shop Avengers. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> yeah, but put a cape on at home, do a bit of this stuff around the house while you're listening to it. <laughs> Wicked.
We're back with Amanda, John, Stephen. The three members, I think, there's still only three. Please, you haven't got any more members while I've been talking to you, have you? Oh, no. <laughs> no. I wish you wanted Joey. Um, yeah. I don't know. Do you have trombone in the band or not? Never heard a trombone. <laughs> Looks like I missed out on being in yeah. biz. But we'll talk about the new album, <laughs> Social Dancing. Here, cover work done by Matt. Good cover work. Good cover oh, artwork, too. Very <laughs> nice. And I like a little, uh, the graphic of the three of you dancing away here. Is that the way you actually look when you're dancing? Or is oh. that a bit of a fantasy of yours? Yeah, <laughs> Stephen had a broken foot that day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, definitely. Yeah. I don't know if anyone can do that position that Stephen's in, actually. You uh, should have seen the other photos that we didn't use. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, now, first single, Euro Disco, takes place in the back of a limo. Yeah. Now, is this where things started going well and you're suddenly travelling limos a bit more? Thought, hey, well, <laughs> let's do a whole bloody clip in here. Yeah, it, oh, it's, it's where we wrote the song, actually, in the back of a limo. You know? It'd have been quite funny if we did actually film it in the vehicle that we own because this is very, very bad and oh, the door dear. just fell off the <laughs> other day. <laughs> uh, 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 all the people in this clip friends of yours? No, we did. there's a few people that we are acquaintances of, but no, I think, you know, it's kind of stylistically we wanted to change the way we did videos and just the, the sort of the lyrics of the song made sense to do it in a limousine and not, you know, us appear as if we don't really want to be in there sort of thing. So it's that kind of, yeah, subtle contradiction or whatever that made well, us do it. It looks like a lot of fun. Someone's got flashing headgear or something yeah, on yeah. one stage too. It's this quite strange all the little toys they had, but... It looks like it's really roomy on the camera, yeah. but we were so squashed no. and everyone was pushing us and I'm burning my arm on the bulbs that were all around the camera. Oh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. Oh. Yeah. There's a few outtakes there, because there's one like you're like that right in front of the camera like that, your face is like 20 foot wide. Yeah, yeah it's got a more <laughs> huge nose. But, uh, no, that was, that was funny. We broke a few legs that day. Oh, did you? Oh, cool. Okay, well, look, let's have a look at that. Now, I want to introduce that for us, please. A great dance track, pump and dance track. Pumpin'. Right, here's a pump and great dance track, you know? It's called Your Disco, you know? Pump and, <laughs> you know? <laughs> drama coming up fairly shortly from Biz, our guest here this morning on Jumpstart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. look at that. <laughs> and I haven't annoyed them too. There's been no punches thrown yet. The interview's gone quite oh, well. Thank you all for uh, <laughs> putting up with me. <laughs> now, before we get on to uh, action and drama, the new single's Detour. Now, yeah. we haven't got that clip yet, but you want to tell us about it? What, what's it all about? Yeah, we did it. We actually filmed it outside. Yeah, the first, yeah. first video we've ever done outside. Yeah. And it managed not to rain in London for two days. So, so, uh, so, we, so we thought we had to do it outside. It's cool. It's kind of a uh, more filmic, it's more cinematic kind of, it's big sweeping imagery for what? It's really nice actually, it's in the park and it's really, really sunny and a lot of the split walking but these extras in it, they're doing mad roller skating oh, and they are amazing, they should have just been in the video, like, we, we should... Rollerblading or roller skating? Roller skate. Yeah. Quads, you know? Quads. It was oh, totally yeah. amazing and Lois, the girl who guests on it, she came over from America to be in it as well, so oh, okay. that'll let people see what she looks like. So is this the most expensive brand you clip you've ever done? One of the cheapest. One of the cheapest, yeah. yeah. Aye, oh, right. we well, got our budget cut pretty dramatically. <laughs> <laughs> and knowing our luck, it'll be the best, yeah. you know? Wow. That's pretty cool. Like, you just got <laughs> to go and get it and away you went. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't seen the finished thing yet, so... You know. We've just done the week before the life of Japan. Now, the album's called Social Dancing. Now, where do you all do your dancing? Are you much clubbers, or what, what do you, where do you go? Yeah. Yeah, you we don't have much time to club. I think every time that we, we go to the club, we, we probably DJ or something, so it's kind of like... I think it's, it was probably something that we'd love to do more, that social yeah. dancing, and oh, we have to yeah. dance on stage. Dad and the discos, I'm up for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so if you, were, if you were DJing, what would be the kind of track you'd like to play? What would be your favourite track? Um, I like a lot of kind of punk pop records. Oh, things right. that we're talking about pistols back that oh, oh, No, not really, just things around at the moment even. Um, a lot of the... Green Dale? Not as much, more of the kind of obscure bands really. Um, a lot of the special female singers like Sleater Kinney and oh. all the things that kind of stemmed from Bikini Kill and a lot of the Riot Girl stuff, oh, okay. that's what I'm really, really inspired so, do, by. So is that movement still going or along stronger now? It's There's a lot like... of kind of post-Riot Girl stuff, certainly, um, Sleater Kinney have certainly continued it anyway and a lot of people are pretty inspired by that kind of music, which I think is actually better anyway mm -hmm. than a lot of the Riot Girl bands, so pretty exciting mm -hmm. music. <laughs> and what would you be playing if you were at a club? Uh, oh, probably a, hard arse techno. A mixture of, <laughs> a mixture of uh, oh, the stuff that sounds like a drill. No, 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 no. No, no. It needs to be below 150 BPM and above 125 <laughs> to be technically <laughs> danceable. Specific, yeah. very specific. Unless it's drum and bass, where yeah, you can just go crazy. Every like five years, the average BPM goes up about 10, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. No, I think we just want to keep it, keep it at a certain level. I think our first album was about 180 beats per minute, and this one's down to about 130. So. What, what music are you into at the moment? Uh, I I'd, I'd just li li listen to lots of sort of late 70s, early 80s electronic stuff, just kind of. 
I, I just, yeah, and electro stuff is really good. So That's right, I've heard people say, man, that these guys are really influenced by 80s bands. What 80s bands would do the influence have been from yeah. social dancing? Um, well, for me, it's probably like someone like New Order or something. It's kind of always had electronics and guitars and stuff and always kind of done it well. Yeah, yeah. Just, just generally those bands that kind of mix the genres and mix muck about basically <laughs> muck about yeah. muck well about. yeah because you are pop with a capital p unashamedly and it's a great thing i mean do, do any, any of the indie bands over there like give you a hard time because like you're not being cool all the time yeah yeah totally yeah. We're, we're we're too pop to be indie and we're too indie to be pop to most people in yeah. britain so that's why we could that's why we toured the world and it's the, the prejudices are much less well know, yeah so. like half your uh, stuff's been sold in japan mm. and now is that a surprise or is, is any is that deliberate at all no. Uh, I, I don't know, it's, uh, it was a surprise, obviously, because it was like, we heard, you know, people saying, oh, you might do really well in Japan. You've got that kind of image, which was like, initially made us think, oh. <laughs> uh -oh. We've but, got an image. <laughs> yeah, I know we have an image. And so I think it was mainly due to that sort of the young teen kind of superheroes. Well, I mean, well, well, shampoo <laughs> sold well in Japan, didn't they? Yeah, while, where but... are they now? <laughs> well, exactly. Well, look, you're, you're power, you've got the second album out. That's yeah, what yeah. they got. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Look, thanks for chatting to us. We've got, uh, hang on, we've got action and drama coming up here. Tell us about this clip. This one's filmed in a box. <laughs> yes. it's, um, Again, on the cheap, I see. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're good at that. Yeah, it's in a, it looks very kind of sci-fi. It's all kind of metallic, and it's got loads of cameras from every angle. And look out for the wee remote control camera on the floor, which kept hitting our legs all the time, yeah. which is really good. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, well, Biz in a box. Thanks for chatting to us on Jumpstart. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers. Go check them out. They're coming near well, you. Go and see them, or else you're being a fool to yourself and a burden to others. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you're playing yourself if you don't go. <laughs> means nothing it's better than us what ones are like silver chair mm. <laughs> crap name. maybe he just had a silver chair in his house though, i don't know but we like we like uh, one syllable names like chance <laughs> <laughs> grudge fire <laughs> kind of boredom with uh, proper names used in music and it was to kind of give give us some instant identity and so people can for a reference, they can just call us these names and it'll like leave a legacy, hopefully, mm. a People thousand can't years. People can't pronounce my surname anyway, so... Like yeah, our, our names are kind of... Our, our names are... We obviously love them, but... Uh, <laughs> we just want something different. I don't know. The yeah. funniest thing is, is when people do think that there are real names and they say, is your surname really Rin? A disco? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and because they can't work it out because me and John are brothers, so they're like, so you, you must be Stephen Disco then. <laughs> I'm like, no. Seriously, <laughs> the family disco. <laughs> no, I'm I'm sci-fi because of all, all my love of X Files and uh, all this conspiracy sci-fi that I'm particularly keen on. Yes, really. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Why are you disco? Because I like to disco, <laughs> and I'm going to have a big house in San Francisco. <laughs> and I'm mandarin because I hate them and I hate myself. Oh.